Young Joe here, just trying to put the box on, ready for the morning. We got cattle going. It's an awkward sort of a thing, as you would have just seen me trying to put it on. Joe's just going to pull forward and like get around the back, and push it on the square. Right, this back one's lined, I think. We did it. Right, that is that job done and it's on the trailer ready for the morning we got some cattle going first thing so i'm just going to take it up the workshop check the tire pressures are all all right so we haven't had it out in a while so we'll do that and then we've got some feeding to do this afternoon i've got to take a picture of that trailer before okay john's taking cattle at six o'clock tomorrow morning you don't want to be messing around doing that in the dark so that is no fun i don't know how well the camera's working because i left it out in the rain over lunch from me. All right, me and Joe are just moving some cows. Um, we've got the vet coming at four o'clock to scan some that we think are empty, so we're just picking out anything that looks particularly empty, getting it all together so they can scan them. I'm coming! Come on, cows! Let's get some cows out. run them through and check all their ear tags. Make sure who we uh, have here is who we think we do. Yes. Come on, buddy. Let me go. Come on. Go on. Go on. What's that? Hello. That's the first four on. <laughs> Sweeping gate deployed. Yeah, that's the first load on the lorry. John's just getting ready to take him. I'm assuming he has gone to look for the key for the tractor. I forgot to tell him I've already put it in there. We'll go and find him. Let him know. I tried ringing him, but I'm sure his phone's in the tractor then. It's in the tractor! Right, he's away now. I can carry on and do some yard work whilst John's taking those in. So yesterday we had one of our vets come out in the afternoon and uh, re-PD some animals. So I picked out six that I'd either seen bullying or I thought looked empty. And these five are all empty. Which is a bit of a shame because there's three heifers in there that Black one, the one with the thing in its nose. And the black one back there. So they're all empty. All scanned in calf originally, and they've lost their pregnancy at some point, which is a bit worrying with the old Schmollenberg floating around. But I'm going to do some yard work, like I said, whilst John's gone. Try and get it all scraped up. These heifers here that need feeding, get them fed with the wagon, which is still broken. Um, we'll do what we can. Hello, Dinky. Go on, there we go. Come on, take a running jump. Well just go and shut the cows back. And this one back here has just started calving. I don't know if you can see the water bag in the back of her there. She's currently just going around in circles. So we'll keep an eye on her whilst we're doing the work here this morning. In the maternity unit. Now this cow has not had twins. That calf there, that one belongs to that cow. But she is a bit, yeah, so I'm not going in there. I'll wait till John's back to sort that out. And then in here, we have a heifer. So I carved this one on Monday night. Today is Wednesday with uh, 
Abby at about half past ten at night. I can't remember which calf is hers. I tied a bit of pink string on his leg. I think that's her calf. I think that calf belongs to our cow that's been down, that we've been lifting up every morning and evening. Um, she carved last night. So we had to come back and carve that one as well, which was fine. She carved absolutely fine. We did have to pull it off. Yeah, that's her calf there. Anyway, the long story short, that cow is obviously currently down. Um, I'm not sure how well that's going to end. This heifer here was good enough that we tied her back last night and let the calf, it was currently sucking on her now, suck on her, and um, she decided she liked it. So what I think is going to be a bad ending for this cow might have worked out all right for the calf if this heifer decides that she'll take him on. She's a lovely quiet thing. Anyway, I'm jibber jabbing. Let's do some yard work. I really hope that cow didn't block that with her ass. <laughs> right. I've just come in to pick up the dung against the wall there. And this calf was uh, head and front legs and shoulders out. So I thought we'll just pull that out whilst we're here. She would have absolutely had that on her own. As she stood up, the calf sort of fell out and got stuck on his hips. So I just pulled it off. But there we are. Cow and calf. Another one to add to the list. I shall carry on with yard work. John will be back in a minute. I would have thought for the next load. I'll sort that cow and calf out afterwards. Right, a lot has happened in the last 10 minutes. Got a load of sugar beet turn up. One of the ice, I had to unload that. I've just stuck a couple of bales mixing in the wagon. I'll feed the heifers uh, once that's mixed up. John come back for his second load, so he's on and gone. I'm just gonna start doing a bit of bedding up. Everyone else should be arriving now at work. So we'll uh, see what happens. The morning continues. Just getting some straw chopping done here. Just had a bit of a chat with Phil and Bruce. Sorted all the morning stuff out. Look at these cows here. How cozy they look under all that straw. Can't be bothered to move. You can't see it because of the reflection, but that new calf back there is on the cow sucking. So that is an absolute result. I haven't got to worry about that one. I think that takes us down, oh, uh, maybe 20 left to calf. We have like a little sportsman's bet here on the farm. Five pound each into the kitty um, on how many cows will be left to carve on whatever date Mel picks. So I think today's the 13th. I think by the close of play on Sunday, which is the 17th, I think. Um, so midnight Sunday, we have to guess how many cows will be left to carve. We all put a fiver in. There's 10 of us on the farm, 50 quid. And the winner takes the pop. So I've guessed 14. Lucky number 14. Out of one, six, six, 20. And into another one. I'm gonna go feed the heifers quickly. That bale should be well minced up now. So for those of you who saw the last video, I've been following the wagon saga. This shed is fine, because we can feed out uh, on this belt onto the floor. The elevator is still not fixed. Um, although it was only yesterday I took it apart. So this is a couple of bales minced up. Absolutely lovely stuff. Heckers are dying to get at it. So we're uh, going on for the setup. My 
I may or may not have opened the gate into the camera there. These cows here, they've got a little bit of food left. So we'll let them finish that up a minute. There's Paolo's mum. Paolo, the calf was weighed yesterday. The guys were over there doing farm platform weighing. He's currently growing at a kilo a day. So I'm buy that Paolo. You guys want to come out too? Mm. Nope, go on, go back, naughty. Oh, another naughty one. Well, I count. Hello, calf. Come in, bud. Oh. Have a stretch. Lovely stretch. We've got a big empty pen here now. I was just thinking in my head, I've got to do that mix for those fat cattle at some point today. But of course they've gone, so I don't. What I will do is uh, let these guys up into the big pen, because there's a bit of food there to clear up. I thought John would be back again soon in a minute. It's a bit disappointing those cows being empty because three of them are heifers. Yeah, they can clear that up to date. There is one animal left in there. It's um, a steer that was born 12 months ago and we could only ever find one nut on him. And the vet come to like vasectomize him and they could only find one nut. And they reckon the other one's up inside him so he could possibly still be a viable bull. We thought it was better off just to even with the fat stock the raw steers anyway. You won't hurt being with those four or five cows because they're going to go probably in the next couple of weeks anyway, so they can get acquainted. Just been and fed the small techno calves. It's now 10 past nine, so we've been here for about three hours. John's just got back from his second load, so hopefully the uh, abattoir are all happy with that. I've now got to go and stick some feed in the straw topper and feed the trough up the top. It's a bit of a tricky one, and then we might have some time to tag some calves, I don't know. See what John wants to do. That is one sexy load of silage. Oh God, yes. It's not pretty, but it's effective. It's much better than uh, forking it all out of a bucket in there, that's for sure. I know a couple people that don't have feeder wagons and just have a straw blower for doing both jobs. And you know, it works. It'd be pretty hard on the machine, all that acid from the silage. I'm not complaining, it's uh, making me be able to do my job today. It's effectively like a forage harvester, so there's a rotor pulling it into a big flywheel, sending it up the chute, or up the spout, and into the trough. You've got to keep it full though, the minute it starts to lose like volume of grass, it just starts flying everywhere. That's when it makes a mess, or if the wind catches it. Right, done. I know you can't see much out that window. We filled the trough up anyway. I'm calling it a success. That is the yard work done. So I've managed to do the yard work nearly in the time it's taken John to do a couple loads of cows. I did help myself out a bit. I did a couple of mixes last night before going home that got me going this morning. Right, one of the last jobs I've got to do this morning is just fill up these black tubs for the cows in the individual pens. The heifer behind me here, she had a little bit of like staggers, milk fever. Um, so we gave her some calcium, magnesium. Um, yesterday or day before I can't remember and uh, she's absolutely fine just we want to keep her in this big pen on her own so that she um, can get knocked around by anything there you go cow look at that new calf is on her beautiful this cow is now going to be known as Colin's mum because uh, Joe and Freya have named the new calf Colin you go yeah. Right, I'll just fill up these tubs, I'm done. And there we have it, another morning on the farm complete. Um, I was supposed to be off at order today. I come in this morning to help John do those cattle and do the yard work whilst he wasn't here. Um, so I'm now off for the rest of the day. Uh, I've got something very exciting happening with my truck. And you'll either see that in the next video or in a video on Back My Place. Um, if you've not found our Back My Place channel, there's a link in the description. Is me and Abby taking on some cattle with Phil in a bit of a joint venture. I'm um, doing our own little thing, so if you want to go and follow that, you can do. Just one last little check of the calvers before we go. That new one that calved earlier is over in the corner there somewhere. Sucking on mother, so that's good. Everyone else looks happy enough, so I will uh, leave them to it.
I might just have a cup of tea before I go in. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. One day, we will get to doing some field work. Hopefully, it's not going to be too far away. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out all the links in the description. Say so my other channels down there, all of our other socials and our sponsors. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.